Uh, what do I get if I win? Oh, well, see, if you win, now you get to spend a week in New Orleans with a beautiful and sensual woman. Do I get to pick her? <laughs> Tonight, generations of fans are remembering the dry delivery and trademark oh. deadpan humor of Bob Newhart. The accountant turned comedian, then sitcom star, died at the age of 94. First with Grammy-winning comedy records, then on two hit TV sitcoms, the unassuming actor made people laugh for decades. KTLA's Doug Cole takes a look back at Bob Newhart's long career. I feel so good, I'm going to take the afternoon off. <laughs> With a deadpan, stammering delivery and an unassuming face, Bob Newhart was the unlikeliest of stars. Born in 1929, Newhart didn't get into show business until he was 30, leaving behind his life as an accountant to make the jump to showbiz. If you're good at it, it's stable. I, I wasn't, I, I, knew I, I knew I couldn't last in a comic. So I just, I said, I'm going to take a year off and see if I can make any money being funny. Newhart was soon signed to Warner Brothers Records and in 1960 released The Button Down Mind of Bob Newhart the first comedy album to reach number one on the Billboard charts, winning three Grammys in the process. I made the album, the, the button on mine, and it just, it took off. I really wasn't prepared for what happened. Hello? Newhart's comedy success soon led to a starring role in The Bob Newhart Show. The series ran from 1972 to 1978 and paired Newhart with one of his real-life best friends, actress Suzanne Plachette. May be a sleeping giant now, but soon it will awaken to become the crossroads of America. Can it, Bob? <laughs> he found more success in the 80s, starring as a Vermont innkeeper in the hit show Newhart. After eight years, Newhart ended with what TV Guide voted as the greatest series finale ever, when it was revealed the entire series was just a dream by his character from the Bob Newhart show. The final episode ended with a cameo from his original TV wife, Suzanne Plachette. All right, Bob. What is it? Well, I, I was an innkeeper in this crazy little town in Vermont. Married to real-life wife Ginny for 60 years, Bob Newhart had four children. Yes, yes, I, I raised Buddy. He worked steadily in his 70s and 80s, delighting fans on the big and small screens. So you, uh, you have you have any si single grandmothers? <laughs> A reoccurring spot on the hit TV show The Big Bang Theory finally won Newhart his first Emmy in 2013. It seems like last week I made the album, and then um, middle of the week I did the two TV shows. It went by so fast for somebody who. Uh, who didn't think it was going to last all that long? <laughs> Doug Kolk, KTLA 5 News.